Well, it's taken 30 years, but an Australian scientist says he's found a way to destroy the structure of cancer cells. The University of New South Wales professor Peter Gunning believes the treatment may work against the childhood cancer, neuroblastoma, and also melanoma. Zoe Eman was diagnosed with neuroblastoma when she was 14 months. She had six rounds of chemotherapy and radiation treatments and is now in remission. Words just can't describe how we felt just watching her fade away. Her family hopes a new treatment being developed in Sydney could help Zoe and other children. Professor Peter Gunning started his research on April Fool's Day 1980, just as his colleagues were giving up. Nearly three decades on, he says his findings published today in the journal Cancer Research are no joke. Nobody has ever had a drug like this that attacks this p particular part of the architecture of a cell. The idea is to target weak spots in tumour cells with drugs, called antitropomyosins, causing them to collapse. The trick was finding how to do it without harming the heart. There really was a point, I think, when we put it in animal models and we saw that it actually worked and that we could kill the cancer in an animal model that was really exciting. Professor Gunning says up to 30% of children with neuroblastoma die from it, so there's a pressing need for new therapies. Animal testing on the drugs is currently underway in the US. Researchers hope to start human trials of Australian children with neuroblastoma by 2015, as long as they can get the funding. The research here is currently funded by the Kids Cancer Project to the tune of $1 million a year. This is the fruition of 10 years of hard work from our perspective, 10 years of selling raffle tickets, getting donations. Australian scientists are also involved in another cancer research milestone. In the largest ever analysis of cancer genomes, they've identified 21 of the genetic mutations that can turn healthy tissue into tumours. Now we can think about not just uh, treatment, but we can also think about early detection and prevention. They hope a greater understanding of the genetic signatures left behind by cancers can help to fight it. Cassandra Hill, World News Australia.